Hello class! So for today, we're finally going to need our tin foil. Also going to need your artwork. Optional items are a glue stick, tape, q-tips, and a dull pencil. Let's get started. Okay, so to start off, we're going to take our tin foil and put it on our table. We're going to lay our artwork over it and gently fold the tin foil around our drawing. If your drawing is a little bit larger than mine, you might need to use a couple pieces of foil. If so, that's totally fine. You can tape it in the back if you want or you can just find a way to fold it so it stays somewhat secure. A tip for wrapping your project in tin foil, don't do it too tight. So here's a video of me quickly wrapping my other example. So I want you to watch closely what happens when I start using my Q-tip. First off, it flew out of my hand, but see how it just ripped right there? So this happened because I wrapped my artwork too tightly with the foil. Since this design is raised really high off of the surface, you need a little extra tin foil. That means you should not wrap it too tight. If you only used liquid glue on the surface, then you can get away with wrapping it a little bit tighter because your design is not elevated as much as if we used found objects. So here I am just really pressing with the Q-tip around my designs and kind of just finding them and bringing them to the surface. Take your time and make sure to be gentle. You can try to use your finger any object that can really just press around your design. Now here's the optional part. If you would like to add some glue, this can be stick or liquid, to your artwork before pressing the foil on it, it will help the foil stick. Now don't do this if you're not sure if you want the foil to stay on permanently. If you might wanna go back add or subtract some of the glue or items you put on the surface, then don't glue it right away. Start to press the foil on it and see if you like the way it looks before you go back and glue the whole surface. Here I am adding some tape to secure it because I decided I liked it the way it was and this was going to be the final result. Here I go, I'm just gonna finish that up. It's sticking really nicely now that I put the glue on, but once again, that is optional. Next, I am moving on to my glue example for all of us that were able to use liquid glue. And I'm going in with my Q-tip, rubbing the surface. So this one, I did not glue down at this point. So you can see the foil is extra jiggly. It's still going to work just fine, but if you would like to glue it down, like I just showed in my other example, you can go for it. So here we are. I'm all finished pressing down my surface. Looks pretty cool so far, but we can enhance it even more. So this is when you are going to take your dull pencil. It can be a color pencil, regular pencil, whatever you have. And we're just going to go in, and this is when we can make more designs into the cardboard. See how that's an indent instead of it coming off the surface. Now I'm going in and I'm really just smoothing out that cardboard and redefining some of my lines. So when I kind of rub my dull pencil around it, it's smushing down the background even more to make my glue marks more defined. So I'm just gonna go around my project, really push down all around my glue. You can outline where your glue is or you can push back the space like I am 
and really just have fun adding detail. Definitely be gentle with this part though because your foil can definitely rip if you push too hard. All right, everyone, have a good time. I just want to remind you, if your design is really sticking out of your surface, don't wrap the foil too tight. Let's try to avoid those rips.